Hello there, Pisces. Welcome to your mid-June. So um, the first message that I am seeing here is um, they're saying investigate. And I feel like a lot of you might be working in a capacity where you're handling um, like financial, you know, um, you're working with like financial management for clients, for large companies, for corporations even. And I see you having like a bunch of portfolios in front of you. And I feel like you're digging into a situation, investigating and doing things to make sure like somebody is financially sound before they can qualify for a loan, before they can, you know, apply for something, get approval for something and uh, get funding. So I do feel a lot of investigative be be behind the scenes work that you're doing. And I feel like for some of you, that might be your main source of employment. For others, um, I feel like you are looking for people to help finance. So I feel like some of you might be at a point where you are retiring and uh, you're looking to do some, you know, venture into philanthropy, for example. So you're looking at different organizations, different entrepreneurs, different um, avenues where you can invest your money and you want not only to invest your money and get returns on it, but it seems almost like you're trying to find something that is worthy, like a worthy cause to invest your time and your energy and your, your financial resources in. So I do see um, a lot of you are working in a capacity where you're kind of, no one's looking over your shoulder. There are very strict rules and regulations and I feel like legal regulations that you have to abide by in order to do your job. And so they're saying that the, the best way to handle this energy is to follow very strictly, you know, adhere by rules and regulations and make sure that you don't cut corners, make sure that you uh, look through everything. So they're saying, you know, cross-examine, investigate very thoroughly everything that comes across your path. And I feel like that's where you're going to be able to make some major breakthrough in the uh, work environment. Some of you, I feel like, could be in a, um, you know, like, I, I do see law enforcement. And I do also feel like uh, federal employees as well purging files, looking through files, sifting through files, um, looking at past uh, archives as well to find something that you're, you're, you know, that's pertinent to, to what you're doing right now. So I see a lot of sifting through, thumbing through. A lot of you are just working by yourself or you have a lot of command and control over the work that you're doing. So that's what I, I, I sense coming through. Um, a small minority of you might be dealing with some type of investigation as it pertains to your financial situation, okay? So just putting that out there. Um, and, um, you know, it is also like audit season. It's after tax season in the United States. So that can also come up. So just make sure that you disclose everything and be very thorough about filling out uh, applications, uh, uh, forms, and, and following procedures, okay, because I feel like it can come back to haunt you, so I do want you to be careful. Um, what I feel overall for many of you is um, we have here the Hierophant, uh, and this is showing up in your work environment, so I feel like, you know, following rules and regulations, once again, that's really important, but I feel like a lot of you are in a very structured, rigid type of a hierarchy uh, work environment and I feel that you know they they do v value their workers but I feel a lot of it is based not so much on performance but seniority so I feel like if you're in a in, with an institution that has been around for a long time I do feel that it's um, it's secure and stable and I feel like they're treating their employees very well so you know staying there would be beneficial for you um, what I'm also feeling as well is there's this uh, ethical dilemma that's coming through and um, they're, they're saying the words I'm hearing is the bottom line, okay? So you want to really think about like long term, the type of work that you want to do and, and whether or not somebody is kind of like meeting the ethical and the moral standards when it comes to business practices. So I feel a lot of you are grappling with this dilemma. Uh, possibly working in an environment that is very safe and secure. There's job uh, security, there's longevity, but there might be an issue of, you know, um, they're not above board, they're not very transparent, and so you feel like there's some shiftiness when it comes to ethics and morality, like 
um, you know, the bottom line, like making money, um, but doing it in a way where it, it, it blurs ethical boundaries. And if you have recently, I see a lot of you have shifted away from those work environment and you're finding another job in another field altogether that is more in alignment with uh, your own values. So if you're facing this ethical dilemma, they're saying there's going to be new jobs. So the, the more you, um, the sooner you break away from it, I do see the August time frame coming in strongly for new work that is going to be a lot more ethical. That's a lot more, I want to say like revitalizing, revitalizing, rejuvenating for you because it's in alignment with, you know, your path, your values, your virtues. And it's also, um, going to put you in, in an environment where you're not going to have these ethical dilemmas anymore, okay? Um, I'm seeing a lot of money coming through from institutions. So I feel like it could be loans, grants, um, payback as well, you know, um, payback, like like money that you paid and then they realize that, oh, you know, you pay too much so that there's money coming back. And that leads me to believe as well tax tax season, um, tax returns and things like that. So I feel like the, the next two weeks is just a lot of work, very heavy energy concerning work, whether or not the work is still in alignment with your values, whether or not you're going to, you know, you're, you feel like you're making the traction and the career path is going in the direction that you're, um, you're wanting. I feel like a lot of you have been looking for, you know, you've worked diligently and you're waiting for some type of promotion, some type of a stepping stone in your career ladder. So you're waiting on feedback. And I do feel that if you're waiting on feedback when it comes to like a, a big corporate job or a job with a big company, big corporation or big institution, the um, information will be coming in for you. I feel like August is when it's going to be coming in and I feel that it's going to be very good news coming through by that time, okay? In relationships overall, one thing I want you to be a little bit mindful about is, um, let me see, the best way that I can put this here is that we, we, whatever we put in relationships is what we're going to get out. Okay. So it's kind of like, you know, um, the rule of energy, energy exchange, what we put in is what we get out. I mean, give or take, there's a little bit of friction and energy loss, right? But whatever you put in, whatever you invest in, in your relationship, just make sure that you're investing all the way. So there's no point in, you know, half-assing something and going in like with one foot out the door. I feel like some of you, you're at a point where you are really caught up with your career. Things are going very well for you financially and professionally. And relationships might not be on your top burner. You know, it might not be your top priority right now. If you're dealing with somebody and dating somebody, um, just be sh very clear and transparent about your intentions. Because I feel like if you're already in it like one foot out the door. The other person is just going to do the same. So I see a mirroring effect when it comes to you and your partner. And I feel like if you want to, you know, kind of reel them back in and try to work at things, you just need to make sure you are 100% committed. So I feel like there might have been like an argument or a fight that happened recently and you're just going about your business. If they come back, they'll come back. If not, I'm okay. And then when they come back, if you're half-hearted about them coming back, or if you're half-hearted about getting together, back together, don't do it at all because I feel like the other person might feel misled and miss, um, I want to say like they, they might feel misled and they might have harbor resentment, okay? So just some things to keep an eye out for. Professionally, financially, things look really, really good. I'm also sensing um, some of you are kind of like, I, I see pregnancy, a major pregnancy vibe. And I feel like third trimester and your mobility might be restricted. And But there's a lot of people in your family providing, you know, hands-on help, like a helping hand and um, emotional support. So it looks good overall, okay? Uh, best of luck to you guys, Pisces, and I'll talk to you soon. Bye-bye.